Hi, I'm Tara from PDQ, and this is Loki here to help us and Chase, our dog wrangler of the day. Loki is pretty passionate about password protection, so he's here to help us. And we're going to talk about banning, well, custom ban passwords in Azure, and we're going to use Azure's 80 algorithm to help make them extra secure. Should we get into it? All right, Chase, we got to get into it. So right. bye, Loki. Come we'll on. see you in a second. Yeah. All right, you guys, we're going to go into... Azure Active Directory. Okay, so just launch the portal, Azure Active Directory. Then we are going to go to security, you know, security. From security, we're going to go over to authentication methods. We're going to pop into password protection. So like our other videos, we're going to set this to lock out after five failed attempts. Then the lockout duration, I'm going to set it for 30 minutes because I did, actually that's 30 seconds. I just noticed that. <laughs> so we probably want to make that... Well, let's just say, well, we're just pretending, so we'll just do a thousand seconds for now. But I just noticed that seconds, not minutes. So set it to be similar to your other policies. Then down here, custom ban passwords enforce. Yes, we want to enforce this. So now this, you can set up to a thousand words that you will not allow to be in your passwords, okay? So we want this to be easily guessed or commonly used words. So you want to put in password. For me, I put in sexy Lexi because we're all going to try and use that around here. Inventory, sysadmin, system, Utah Jazz. So find words that you think your users are commonly going to use. Put them in here. And what it's going to do is it's going to do capital letters based on this. It's going to go up. It's going to go down using the algorithm we talked about before. So put in up to 1,000. The next thing we're going to do is this right here, password protection for Windows Server Active Directory. If you are in hybrid and you want this to apply down to Active Directory, you're going to hit yes. If you're not in hybrid, if you're cloud only, leave it at no, okay? Then you're going to hit save. And this is going to further secure your password policy for your users, okay? But just remember, whatever word you put in here, they're not going to be able to use it as their password, okay? I'm Tara from PDQ. This is Loki. That's all for today. Remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.